Well, good morning, everybody. Can you show them how you jump out of the basket? So we are outside with Laramie's kids. These guys, this is the 10th of June. And these guys are six weeks old tomorrow. I want you to get out. I know, you're supposed to get out on your own. This one never stays in the basket. When Vanessa's doing something and has them in a basket, she's out of that basket in a heartbeat. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness sake. So tomorrow is their six-week birthday. They'll get their... <laughs> you're going to chew my arm, aren't you? They're going to get their second shot tomorrow. And well, I'm sorry, their first shot. They had their Neopar when they were four weeks old. So they'll get there. So we're going to leave you in there. Can you get out? Vanessa's always grumbling about you because you get out all the time. She said, I am stuck in here. Get your toes up there. She's a pistol. And uh, they're doing really good. Then we left you in there. Can you get out? Come on, you can do it. Can you get out? She's the only one that does it. She's not going to do it. All right, come on. Ready? Come on. Let's go. Jump. Oh, there's a Jake Brick going down the road. Oh, she says, what was that? Jump out. Come on, you little stinger. Get out of the basket. She is always out of that basket. I know. I don't want to scare you, but i got to set this down. Okay. Get rid of the basket. There you go. Now you're free. You're out. She says, oh, this is different. See, where'd this carpet come from? Huh. We're probably going to kick these outside today and let them play in the grass for a while. Because they're going to be leaving mom really soon. And uh, so it's time that they get out and go play outside on their own without mom some. And it's really... It's a nice overcast day today. That's why we decided to do this on the porch. What are you doing? I know, you're just into everything. Uh, they still have not had toys yet until they come out because Laramie will just tear them to shreds. So these guys are really, really doing well. They're very social in the house. Um, they are well on their way to becoming little monsters. See, just lots of little monsters, not big monsters. I know, I see ya. I see ya. We have a, a couple in here with blue eyes. Not very many blue eyes in this litter. I see ya. This one has one blue eye, and I'll try and, I was gonna try and check out eyeballs before we get on my lap. I know. I think you've got double blue, if I remember right. I can't remember if you do or not. I think we just have one with one blue eye, and she's possibly the other blue eye. She have double blues. I, I have to look at them. They didn't look double blue today, but this one has, this is the one that has one blue eye. It's the yin yang. The eye on the light side is, is blue and the eye on the left side is dark. Let me see your peepers. Let me see your peepers. No, you have dark eyes. You have dark eyes. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. You're so pretty. I love the coloring on this litter. They all have such nice colors and the coats are super soft. So we're going to go through here. Um, I know that this one is sold. The one that has the, the uh, Wheaton party is sold. And I know there's one other one in here sold and I can't remember to save my soul. So we're gonna start with the odd colors and get them done. Let me see your collar. I think you need this bigger. I think so. You need this just a titch bigger. That's Laramie. Now we're gonna listen to Laramie bark and I can't bang on the door because she's too far away from it. She won't pay any attention. She's down about another kennel or so. Okay, my husband will tell me about that when we get in there because his office is in the other end of that garage. All right, so this is microchip number 2179. And this puppy is a party color. It's not going to be a black party. Hello, people. This one is absolutely changing colors. You can already see the head's already changed. The body is also changing. This is going to go a buff color. Might be a little lighter than right here, but it's definitely changing colors. Even the top of its tail, you can see the color change. Hi, pumpkin. Uh, really pretty baby. Nice coats. All these guys have just awesome coats. It's kind of you want to run your fingers through. They just feel so good. I know when I see you. And this one has normal color dark eyes. So again, microchip number is 2179. Are you just social butterflying around everywhere, visiting everybody? Yep, you are, I know. <laughs> Leave it alone. 
three pounds, come at the front. Three pounds, 9.6. All righty, down you go. All right, social butterfly, come up here while I got gotcha. you. I know what. I know, it's just a good girl. No, I don't <laughs> want licked. No, I don't want licked. I don't like licking. 2178 is her microchip number. And she has beautiful markings on her ears. I love the wheat and markings. I think she's probably the prettiest wheat and marking we've ever had, uh, especially on her face. She's got such even markings. Coat's awesome. She's got these patches of wheat and, I thought there was another one. Nope, just the one by her butt and the one in the middle of her back. Go away, I don't need a bath. All right, she has a purple collar and she is right here. Three pounds. Well, she's not going to quit walking. I know her. Stop. Lay down. Can you lay down right there? Four pounds, three pounds, 11.6. That's as close as we're going to get. All right, Munchkin. Take a look at your mom so she can see your face. Don't lick me, people. Quit. All right, down you go. Okay, let's do the other party. Now you just discovered my socks, didn't you? All right, this is a red collared, black and white party, and this is a male. And I know I forgot to tell you, this one is also a male. This is a boy also, the first one we did with the green collar. So look at the coat on this. This is like a little polar bear coat. He's got such thick coat. He's a pretty boy, yeah. He has dark eyes. He's white all the way down his belly. I know, you're just my friend. You're just my friend right now. Got little tiny black eyes. Oh, there goes my microchipper. 2180 is his microchip number. And I know I see you. He's a good boy. I know. There's a little bit of black between his toe and his pads, which makes it really cute. Hi, I've been here, done that. You're not licking me. Go away. No, I don't want your help. Go away. I know your tail's going. Nice and black, I don't see any color change. <laughs> I know, oh, you're gonna get me, aren't you? Three pounds, lay down right there. Two pounds, 15, two, two pounds, 14, eight. So just under three pounds. You're so busy. Go get something to do, look, get that. All right, let's do this one. This is the Merle with the pink collar. Here's my chipper. Don't chew my shirt. <laughs> I've lost my, there it is behind me, I hit it. Go away, you're ornery. This is a, a female, 2177. I know it, she's such a sweet girl. This is a yin yang. And she's got super nice coat, just great big heavy, heavy coat. You just aren't sure about this whole thing today, are you? No. You're bound to get my attention. You're either gonna chew on me or lick me. All right, let's see what you weigh. She is four pounds, 1.8. Four pounds, 1.8. Okay, let's see. Put you down. All right, let's see who did we not do. What is this one? This is the turquoise collar. This is a male. I know, you just want somebody to just, oh, this is a rub my stomach. This is, oh, it feels so good. You just want somebody to hold you and play with you. He's so mellow. He's just like this mellow old man. Yeah. Are you a mellow old man? I know. Yes, you are. And that tongue never quits, does it? 2183 is his microchip number. And he has a turquoise collar. He's got really nice, dark, heavy markings in that merle. He's a blue merle. No. No. Really pretty coat and the tail's going. I know, he says, you finally are paying attention to me. <laughs> He's a good boy. I know. Oh, he says, right there, just scratch. Oh my goodness sake. Oh, the higher I go, the more you itch. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I know it. All you guys like that. Yeah, you always all like to be itched. I know. <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I see you back here. All right, this one is on the move. Or, oh, she's gonna come help him. <laughs> no. 
All right, lay down for just a second. It's four pounds. He's just under four pounds or right at four. He's like 314. He says, I'm not holding still. I don't want to hold still. Here, lay down right there for me for just, yeah, lay right there. Three pounds, 13, two. Oh, that worked. Okay. All right, there's the turquoise. So we did you, Mr. Yin Yang. Yes, we did. I think we did them all. Did we miss anybody? I thought we did neon green. Hey, Tamir, Tamir, Tamir. Good babies, good babies. Yes, now I have you all, thank you. You don't think I did him? Mm -mm. Okay, this one is the black footed. He's got one black foot with a leg on this side and a blue foot on this side. Hey, good boy, there you Do you have blue eyes? I don't think so. You're my blue eyed guy. Let me see. No, they're dark. They're dark eyes. So this is the neon green collar puppy that I missed. And microchip is 2176. I don't know why I thought I did him. Um, really thick coat. They all just have super, super nice coats. And they're not even eight weeks old yet to have this thick a coat. So he's done, this is a male. Are you piddling on my carpet? Yep. Yes, you did. <laughs> you little stomp. Give me that towel if you can reach it before it soaks in. Okay, I don't have anything else close, but I'm gonna try and before people walk in this. This is my brand new carpet, people. Now I gotta get out the carpet cleaner. I really hate to use this towel, but I'd rather waste a towel than have it soaked down in my carpet. All right, who's behind me? You are. I thought I felt somebody back there. You're my troublemaker. Yes, you're my troublemaker. All right, so anyway, back to you. Sorry, buddy. Yep, he's got really nice dark markings around his eyes. And the coat, again, is really pretty. And that black front, front foot is very distinctive. Okay, let's see what you weigh. Stop. Can you lay down right there? There, lay down. Three pounds, 7.8. That makes it much better when I make him lay down. All right, so that'll give you an idea. Oh, she says, we're done, we're done. Uh, that'll give you an idea how they're doing. They're all just as sweet as can be. They're all in different stages of personalities. We've got some that are very quiet and mellow. And then we have Miss Social Butterfly. And you know what, and you're just like Eeyore. Yes, you're just like Eeyore, I know. So, in the next week, they're gonna change even more. Um, this will be the last time we probably sit with them. And we probably will do everything else now out um, in the kennels when they play. But they're old enough now that this will be the, the last time I wanna sit down with all of them at one shot. Otherwise, it gets dangerous. So, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed their videos. Uh, they're really doing so good. They're super sweet babies. Laramie's always had nice kids. And um, if you have questions or would like to know any particulars about them, uh, feel free to give me a call. If you do decide to purchase a puppy, uh, there is an online puppy purchase contract at the top of the website. All I need is that filled out in a deposit uh, to hold the puppy till it's ready to go home. And these guys will be able to go home starting on the week of the 25th of June. Uh, they'll be six weeks old tomorrow, so we're going to start weaning them. And uh, they'll get their first shot tomorrow. So um, if you do decide to do that, please text me and let me know. Uh, just text me your first and last name and which puppy that you're doing uh, because it does not always come through on my computer when you've done that. So if you um, text me that way I'll know to look for it. I can pull your contract up and you can fill the contract out right online. All you have to do is just hit submit at the bottom when you're finished and it will send it right to me. So I hope you have a great day and a blessed week. We're supposed to have some nice weather I think. Today is a nice overcast day, so we decided to get this done today. So have a great day, uh, and we'll talk to you soon.